So I hope all of you have divided your, your page into these four columns. The heading for the first column is transaction, then second column is account, then a third column is type of account, and the last column is effect. Okay, so now we would be uh, starting off with the entries. We would be learning how to go about, you know, uh, preparing journals. We will be learning how to prepare uh, ledgers. But before that, just to make sure that we are quite comfortable in trying to identify uh, the transaction and then trying to identify, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the type of accounts, the accounts that are involved, the type of accounts and what effect. Uh, that we have to go about applying depending on the golden rules. Okay, so here goes the first transaction. Okay, here goes the first transaction. The first transaction is paid rent, paid rent for cash, rupees 1200. Okay, paid rent rupees 1200 okay so the first transaction is paid rent rupees 1200 okay now remember we are learning the uh, double entry system of accounting please remember we are earning uh, we are learning the double entry system of accounting so which means according to double entry system of accounting Every transaction will have two effects and both the effects will have to be recognized. So according to double, a double entry system of accounting, every transaction will have two effects and both the effects have to be recorded or both the effects have to be recognized as a part of the accounting system. So now the transaction is paid rent for cash, which means here there are two accounts which are involved. Okay, there are two accounts like that are involved. So let's try and identify which are those two accounts. The first account is rent account. Okay, the first account is rent account because you're paying rent. Okay, you're paying rent. Second is, second account that is involved over here is cash. Okay, second account that is involved over here is cash account. Okay, so we have identified the two accounts. Uh, the first account is rent account and the second account is cash account. Okay, so we have identified the two accounts. Now, let's try and identify what are the types of accounts. So rent account is what type? Rent account will be nominal. Now, why is rent account nominal? Uh, rent account is nominal because rent is an expense. You're paying rent. When you pay rent, that is an expense for you. So uh, rent account will be nominal in nature. Then you have cash. Okay. Then you have cash. Now remember, uh, cash, it represents the physical money that you have. And cash is real in nature. So cash is real in nature. So cash is real in nature. So that is a real account. So uh, we had the transaction was paid rent for cash rupees 1,200. There are two accounts which are involved. The accounts are rent account, cash account. Now we are trying to identify what are the two types? What are these two types of accounts? We saw that rent account is nominal in nature. We saw that cash is real in nature. Now let's try and identify what effect does it have? Okay. Now, how do we identify the effect? We identify the effect based on the golden rules of accounting. Okay, We identify the effect based on the golden rules of accounting. Now, remember, we have a golden rule corresponding to uh, each of these types of accounts. Okay, We have a golden rule corresponding to each of these types of accounts. So for nominal account, the golden rule tells you debit all expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains the golden rule for nominal account is debit all expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains so here rent is an expense okay rent is an expense you're paying rent that is an expense for you so rent account what will you do you will debit okay rent account you will debit Okay, you will debit. Okay, now second, let's try and identify what is the effect corresponding to cash account. 
certificate let's try and identify or let's try and understand what is the effect corresponding to uh, cash account we know that cash account is real in nature okay we know that cash account is real in nature so remember real account the golden rule tells you uh, debit what comes in credit what goes out okay the golden rule for a real account is debit what comes in credit what goes out okay now here remember the transaction is paid rent so when you pay rent what is happening to cash is cash coming in or is cash going out so when you paying rent cash is going out from your hand cash is going out so here cash account what will happen is you will credit okay you will credit so what i have just done is i have i i have picked up on a transaction and then i have identified which are the two accounts that are involved over here then i identified what is the type of account then based on the golden rules of accounting i am trying to figure out what is the effect will should i debit or should i credit okay so uh, this exercise will help us uh, to be familiar with uh, identify the account identify the type of account and then based on that identifying the effect on the account so the next transaction that we are trying to deal with is paid wages for cash rupees 1000 okay paid wages for cash rupees 1000 so the transaction here is paid wages for cash rupees 1000 now remember according to the dual aspect of accounting every transaction will have two effect it will have two effects which means there are two accounts which are involved now let's try and identify which are the two accounts okay there has to be two accounts here now let's try and identify which are the two accounts now first is your paying wages now what do you mean by wages wages is the remuneration you pay to you the laborers okay so for example if you have a housemaid at home or if you have someone who's coming over to you know do do some uh, act household work or if you have some if you have a if you have some field or if you have a garden you want to do some kind of an activity over there the remuneration that you pay to them is referred to as wages so the first account is wages account okay the first account is wages account now remember the transaction is paid wages for cash so which means the next account that is involved is cash account okay the next account that is involved is cash account now let's try and look at what type of accounts are these when you pay remuneration to someone okay so for example you had someone working at home you you have a housemaid who's working at home you have to pay her salary what is that for you okay that is the expense for you so payment of wages is a expense for you so wages is nominal okay wages is nominal in nature okay wages is nominal in nature for you to be able to fulfill a, an expense for you to be able to pay up an expense it is mandatory for you to have physical cash with you so cash is what type of account remember cash represents the uh the money that you have remember it's a resource uh, it is an asset for you so cash is real in nature okay cash is real in nature okay so cash is real in nature so the golden rules uh, of accounting based on the golden rules of accounting we have to identify the effects okay we have to identify the effects so for nominal account it is debit all expenses for nominal account it is debit all expenses so since wages is an expense you will debit okay since wages is an expense you will debit now when you pay wages what is happening to the cash that you have is cash coming in or is cash going out okay so cash will be going out from you okay you will because you have to give cash to someone 
So it is going out from the business. So here, this will be credit. Okay, this will be credit. So we picked up on a transaction, we identified what are the two accounts, we identified what type of accounts are those, and based on that, we went about identifying uh, uh, the effect. Okay, now if that's the case, let's look at the next transaction. The next transaction that we have is Purchased furniture, purchased furniture for cash, and the amount is rupees five thousand. Okay, so the amount is rupees five thousand. Okay, so the transaction here is purchased furniture for cash, and the amount is rupees five thousand. So uh, the drill remains the same. We have to identify, uh, this is the transaction. The transaction tells us purchase furniture for cash and the amount is rupees 5,000. Now let's try and identify which are the two accounts here. Okay, so the first account is furniture account. Okay, the first account is furniture account. Okay, the first account is furniture account. The second account is cash account. Okay. The second account is cash account. So the first account is furniture account. Uh, the second account is cash account. Okay. Now let's try and identify what are these types of accounts. Okay. Let's try and identify what are these types of accounts. So the first account that we have is furniture. Okay. The first account that we have is furniture. Remember, furniture is a resource for you. Okay. Unless and until you have the right kind of furniture in your, in your office, in your business, it would be very difficult for you to carry out your business activities. So it is very important for you to have the right kind of you know, furniture in your business. So you may need tables, you may need chairs, you, you may need desks, you may need cupboards, you may need wardrobes. So these are the kind of furnitures. That, so furniture is a resource for you. So what does that mean? That means furniture is real in nature. Okay? Furniture is real in nature. So furniture account is real in nature. Okay? Furniture is real in nature. Cash, again, we know cash represents the physical cash that you have. So which means this is also real in nature. Okay? This is also real in nature. Okay, now let's think about the effect. Okay, let us think about the effect. Okay, now when you buy furniture, what, what is happening to the furniture? Is furniture coming in or furniture is going out? Remember, furniture is a real account. So the golden rule for real account tells you debit what comes in. Debit what comes in. When you buy furniture, what is happening? Furniture is coming into your business. Okay, furniture is coming into your business, which means furniture account you will debit. Okay, furniture account you will debit. Now, what is happening to the cash? Okay, what is happening to the cash? So, when you buy furniture from the furniture vendor, what should you do to the cash? You have to pay him. He would not be giving it to for charity. You would have to pay him, which means cash is going out from your business. Okay. Cash is going out from your business. So cash, uh, golden, remember it's real. Golden rule tells you debit what comes in, credit what goes out. So cash is going out. So you will credit cash. Okay. You will credit cash. See, notice how simple it is. Uh, uh, one transaction, there were two accounts involved. We identified the types of account and then we also identified the effect. Next. Okay, next, next, okay. next transaction is sold missionary for cash rupees 3000. Okay, so here goes the transaction. Sold missionary for cash uh, rupees 3000. Okay, 
So remember, dual aspect of accounting, every transaction has got two effects. Both the effects have to be identified, which means there are two accounts involved here. So let's look at the first, let's look at the first account. So the first account that is involved over here is missionary. Okay, the first account that is involved over here is missionary account. The second account that is involved over here is cash. The second account that is involved over here is cash. So first is missionary, second is cash. Okay, first is missionary account, second is cash. Now remember what is missionary for you? Missionary is a resource. Okay, remember missionary is a resource for you. Okay, so what, what does that make missionary? Missionary is real. Okay, missionary is real. Uh, uh, just to make sure that we keep it. Uh, a little easy for you. I'm just going to interchange these positions. I'm just going to interchange the positions. So I'll write cash first. I will write cash first, and then I will write mission. So just to keep it simple, uh, I'm just going to interchange the positions. Okay. Now remember the transaction was sold missionary for cash. And then, so you had some excess missionary with you. You're selling that. Now, when you sell missionary, what happens? You will get money. Okay. You will get money. So uh, you're having cash and then you have missionary, which is involved. So cash account is what type? It's, it's, a, it's a resource. So that is real in nature. Okay. It is real in nature. Then you have missionary. Missionary is again real in nature. Okay. Missionary is again real in nature. Now let's identify the effect. When you sell missionary for cash, uh, what is happening? You're receiving cash. And remember, cash is what type? Cash is real. Golden rule for real account tells you debit what comes in. So when you sell missionary for cash, you're receiving the cash. Cash is coming into your business. Cash is coming into your hand. So cash, you will debit. Okay. Cash, you will debit. Okay. Cash, you will debit. Now, next, we have to identify what is the effect with missionary. Now, remember, missionary is real because it is a resource. It is an asset. And when you sell missionary, what is happening to missionary? You have to hand over the missionary that you had to the person who's bought it. Okay. You have to hand over the missionary that you had and you have to give it off to the person who has bought it. So what is happening to missionary? Missionary is going out. Missionary would be going out from your business. So missionary is real. Debit what comes in. Uh, credit what goes out. Missionary is going out. So credit. Okay. So credit. Okay. So debit what comes in. Credit what goes out. So this is credit. So this is credit. 